Today's tutorial will be my natural everyday makeup. If you're interested in this look, keep on watching. So, hi guys and welcome back to another video here on my channel. And I'm sure you already have noticed from the title down below, but today's video is going to be all about how I achieve my natural everyday makeup. So I'm going to be walking you through a few of the steps that I like to do when I'm completing my um, makeup look. And this is more for the natural girls who don't want to wear too much makeup. So one of the first things I start to do would be my eyebrows. So I always work on my eyebrows first and then start with my face. So far as a natural day when I'm trying to do my makeup and you know go ahead and get it done I don't spend a ton of time on my eyebrows but you know I get them filled in because so I do so using my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow and I have the color chocolate so this is what I usually use to do my eyebrows so when I start I just lightly like outline the eyebrow the natural shape I don't do any overdrawing or anything like that I just pretty much naturally outline the natural shape of my eyebrow then after I go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow I like to go over with this gimme brow by benefit and I'm just using a small size and this is just a little bit of extra filling in for my eyebrows. So I'm going to move over and do the other one. So of course my next step is pretty optional, it's nothing that you have to do, but I like to go in sometimes and put a bit of a highlight under my eyebrows. So I usually use like this light color by LA Colors, LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is the color Creamy Beige. I usually use this on my face to highlight, so I use the same applicator and just go under, under my eyebrow. And I really mainly do just the tail end like that. The only thing I don't like about using these applicators are they really they're really really hard to like avoid getting it in your eyebrow. It's not the best brush. But like I said, I do just really the tail end of my eyebrow and I place the highlight there. And then I go back and blend it in with a better brush. So that's pretty good. Now move on, blend it in. On a natural day, the most that I will do is um, maybe prime, but for purposes of this video, I don't even have to prime my face. So on a natural day, I don't do any covering up my spots. I just use only foundation because I really don't want to seem like I have on a lot of foundation. So I just use a little bit. I mean, I just use foundation only. So I don't do the whole concealer, then foundation, and all that jazz. I just go right in with foundation. And normally I use like a brush or beauty blender. Today I'm using a brush to blend this in my skin. And I just make sure I mainly pay extra attention on problem areas where I have acne. Because lately my skin has been doing numbers. Like I don't know why it's been breaking out. But it's been having like these little dark spots that I just covered. Those have been popping up all over my face. And I've been to a dermatologist. And my face has been getting a little bit better. But 
I don't know, it still seems like that's a, a bigger issue than what we discussed. So, I'm going to have to call her back and let her know that, yeah, some of the acne is going away, but those scars are, like, not budging at all. And I don't have time for that. So, once you, once I have my foundation on, I'm really just blending it in the best way. I can. This, these spots on my forehead are like gonna be the death of me because they are really irking me how they look. And I feel like you can see it like kind of coming through, looking a little grayish through my makeup. And I ain't got time for that. But anyway, make sure you blend up into your hairline. Because you don't want to be able to see like that. You don't want to be able to see that line in between your hairline. So bam, easily done. I did my foundation. I go back on top of my foundation with concealer. And this is just a true match concealer. And this is in the color Moyen. I'm not sure. I think it says Moyen. Because this particular concealer is a lot stiffer than the LA Girl Concealer. I have to use a damp beauty blender because otherwise it will barely even move. This concealer is particularly more like a crayon. It's more like a crayon versus a um, creamy consistency. One thing that I have learned that I cannot avoid anymore is contouring. I just cannot do without it. I will not highlight before I will not contour because contouring is just my life lately. So what I do on a natural day is I just take a lighter color contour, not something so deep, which is this color here. It's more like a bronzer and I just take that and then I lightly contour my face. I don't do anything too heavy, but we still got to contour, you know. Can't skip this step. My next step would be to move into an eyeshadow if I was choosing to wear one for the day. So, for purposes of this video, I'll go ahead and show you a, a simple, no makeup eyeshadow look that I will complete. So, I'll be using the Naked 3 palette for this look. This is the perfect palette to use for a no makeup makeup look because these colors are really, really neutral and very, very sheer. So I'm going to go in with this fat color factory and I literally just like lightly dust it on my eye. I don't even do like the perfect placement. I just dust it on there. Dust, 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 dust it on, dust it on. So next I would get like a bigger blending brush and then I would go in with a better, a darker color to go in the cup. Okay, so if it's particularly a day that I choose to wear eyeshadow, I have to go back and do an eyeliner. I feel like it's just wrong to wear eyeshadow with no type of eyeliner so my next step will be aligning in my top line So once I've lined both of my eyes, I will move into mascara. My favorite part, another part that I don't skip, even if I wear no makeup, I will pop my mascara out of my purse in a heartbeat 
and apply it at work because I just feel like mascara is a must. Like if you don't have on any makeup, you could still do mascara and be okay. So that's my next step. I don't know why I feel the need to like do that whole head motion when I put on mascara, but I don't know, it's just how I do. Now I have done my eyeliner and I have done my mascara. So for my next step, I typically hardly ever do this step because I'm usually doing my makeup in the car on my way to work and I just don't have this stuff accessible but I usually will put on some highlighter if I'm at home doing this just because highlighter is in right now and I just can't seem to escape it and I'm still using my current highlighter that I just have not purchased another one that I like but this is max global glow and it's it works fine out of the mo out of the ones that I have. Right, so one the last thing that I will typically do on a day like this is do something to my lips. Right now I'm just wearing like a a lip chap, but normally I'm usually going bold with the lips. So on a day like today, I think I would probably grab a pink color. So I'm going to go in with this pink and it's by Nika K and it's called a lip gloss lip shine. I've used this before in my video but like I said in that video that this is more so like a matte lip. I don't understand why they call it a lip shine because once you put it on it's liquid and it's shiny but then once it dries it dries matte and it's a beautiful color. So this is in the color Matrix. So that concludes everything that I would do to achieve this natural look. It was pretty easy to do and you can do it in under 15 minutes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next upload. Peace.